Let me speak my piece. It's a bill coming at you, man. As you know, I've been signing carrier packages, preparing for the road, right? I've been getting ready to do this work. Let me park for a minute, because I really want to tell y'all. It's not going to be a long video. It's going to be a short video. But I'm going to tell you straight up and down what I think about that relay below board. And it's not positive. There's only one positive thing on there. Let's start with the negative. One thing I don't like about the relay board is that it refreshes every like 30 seconds. You looking at the details of a load disappears. You gotta scroll back down, look for the load again, find it again, continue where you was looking for the details of the load. It refreshes again, and then you gotta look again and find a load. Because if you're new to the game, you're trying to figure out if it's worth your time. Now, after you see, oh, it's paying $2.50 a mile. Barely, you're barely seeing that, first of all. But it's paying $2.50 a mile. Let me check this out. Oh, it's got four stops. Okay. Refresh. Find a little again. One stop. Okay. Edison, New Jersey. Refresh. Second stop. Oh, um... Satin Island. Okay, let's go through it one more time. Because it refreshed again. Oh, Bronx. Okay. Refresh again. Oh, back to Edison. Okay. And if you and if you looked at the, the, the... I think they do tolls and fuel surcharge, I believe. It refreshes again. And you got to find a load again and do... And keep on... Make sure you find all this stuff. And then if it's actually a good load, you might not be able to find it because somebody might already took it. Because all you got to do is click, book. Are you sure you want to book? Boom. Done. Okay? So, yeah, you can put you can put um, certain things in there like you want a um, power-only load, basically. The trailer's provided. Um, boom. You can click that. You can click, like, your solo driver, boom. You can click uh, 53 foot, boom. So it's little things you could do to shorten up the details of it. So you know the loads that you're looking at have certain criterias for you. But I wanna know about the stops and the mileage pay. <clears throat> Those are two things I'm looking at. And I'm not finding no freight on there and once again, I'm going to keep the load board. I'm going to keep the relay load board until Christmas because I'm going to see if it changes during the holiday season. Maybe back to school it might change. Maybe um, Thanksgiving it might change. So maybe around the holidays it might change. So I'm going to keep the load board. And I'm going to see what happens. But I don't like their load board and I don't like their power only rates at all. Um, JB Hunt rates, way better way better it's not a gazillion stops on their on their um trailers amazon be having like four five six stops paying like a dollar sixty dude this freight going out here for three dollars plus mad freight <laughs> power only freight Ooh, what's we doing yo you gotta be kidding me man um so, the negative that I don't like that it refreshes every 30 seconds. And the next one is the rates. I already talked about it a little bit, but the rates are trash, man. Trash. Um, the, it's just really disrespectful, the rates. And you not. Uh -uh. I don't care if you got a cash paid off truck. Who wants to move freight for a dollar sixty in a inflated market? I can see if the everybody else's shit was cheap freight, but nah, chief, nah, 
<laughs> nah. Nah. And I don't even know my lanes that well. But I know I ain't taking nothing, none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, they do have some single hauls. Some of them pay good. Some I've seen a couple that pay pretty well. Um, but it's dime a dozen, and that's the problem. Cause you can go on to that low board and find the same type of freight going the same place for a lot more money. Period. So I can see maybe if you didn't have any other low boards you can go to, or you couldn't pull any other freight, that's different then. If that's your last resort, then that's your last resort to get some income. Cause don't get it twisted. You could drive, make a thousand dollars a day with Amazon, but you gonna work for them thousand dollars, and it ain't you know, it ain't doing a one stop, and you gonna get a thousand dollars. That's for sure. Unless you're going from New Jersey, to Kentucky, and I mean, you must be going the freeway. Cause that Pennsylvania Turnpike gonna eat that money up, and I mean, this is probably another route you could take. I think eighty one maybe, or something. So you could take another route, a free route, but you still gonna have to pay. But they supply some of the toll money. I ain't gonna say all of it, but I believe I saw toll money up there. Now, if you get on late at night, I'm talking like twelve. More two, three, you gonna start seeing some loads, some nice paying loads. But guess what? The nice paying loads are for if you have a trailer. If you have a trailer, you can make money with them. Let's be clear. Now this part I'm not gonna shy away from. You can make money with Amazon if you got your own equipment and you running your own equipment. You got to have a trailer and a tractor. And you up late at night, early in the morning, I'm talking about three. I'm talking about like, I started seeing the loads on there, I believe at like 10, maybe 10, 12. I started seeing like $3 a mile loads, a few, but they go quick. When you read, when that shit refresh, them loads be gone, yo. <laughs> I saw some nice ones. I was like, man. I was looking at one and it refreshed. It was gone. Because I was going to pull one. I was like, I could do that. Because it was just going to the Bronx. From Jersey to the Bronx for like, uh, I want to say it was like 800 bucks. Could have made that work. You know, take 287, which is free. Tapping Z, it's probably not that much money. And then come the back way and just, you know, make it work. <laughs> I'm sure you can make it work. But uh the way you're gonna make money if you wanna pull Amazon, uh you gotta have your own trailer. Facts. Your own trailer. I would not waste my time doing the power only stuff. This is my opinion. It's not a shot at Amazon because, I mean, they're their own world. They do they do how they, they do their way, how they want to do it. And if you get in good with them, like anything else, you could probably finagle and finesse and get plenty of money over there. But just, just coming in, doing power only, messing with that load board. You're going to put in a lot of miles for a little money. And that ain't the name of the game. You want to put less miles for good money or a whole lot of money. <laughs> That's the name of the game when you get your own authority. Work smart, not harder. You always want to work smarter. So anyway... That's all I got to say about that. Um, relay a little board. Struck a bell.